What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be going over a Gymshark clothing haul. So I pretty much did one of my biggest Gymshark orders of all time. Um, pretty much what I got was probably continuing a lot of different colors of some of my favorite things that Gymshark does have. So we're going to be starting this off row probably, um, we'll start off with the bottoms and then we'll progressively get the uh, more cut down fabric pieces. But pretty much with this Gymshark haul, I'm gonna be talking about some of the things that, because again, this is a lot of reorders, um, some of the products that are my all time favorites and the ones that I do come back to, and when I see new colors, I do end up picking up. So we're gonna start things off. The first thing that I did get, and this is actually something I haven't gotten before. Um, so some of my favorite gym shorts um, right now that I like to wear are the Gymshark Bold shorts. The ones that say Gymshark across the back. Um, they're just super, super stretchy. Um, I do tend to size down my shorts to make my quads look bigger. So with those ones, um, they're really good for performance. My quads um, look good with them. They're pretty short too, but I went with mediums. Um, so those are like some of my favorites and they're just always sold out or they only have the black ones right now on like XL. So I looked at the fabric, it's 5% spandex and a couple other things. So logically, I just looked at whatever else has 5% spandex in the shorts. And I came across the $25. Um, these are, I believe, the Critical Shorts. Um, yes, I have the tag right here, Critical Shorts. I got some mediums. I got the black, red, and gray. So I'll just do show them all like back to back. Really excited about this, this red, actually. So we'll try that one last. Making a mess in the office, but let's put these on. All right, so right off the bat, they are <laughs> they're really, really, really soft. So, but really thin, like it's very thin. I don't know if I can show you that, but yeah, very, very thin fabric. So they, again, the inside's very soft, comfy. They do have a good stretch. I don't think that they're as stretchy as the bold shorts, but I'll give you the 360. These. So these ones, this is the gray. Um, I'm gonna throw on, I mean, the black one is kind of gonna be basic. I wanna try on the red one, so let me throw those on. All right, so we got the red on, and I guess some of the details with these is the pockets. There's no zipper to them, it's just pretty simple ones. Not super deep pocket, but it goes out to like here, so I can fit my whole hand in pretty much to there. Overall, again, the really soft feel, but really, really thin. Um, squat test, there's minimal resistance, but it feels like a little bit, so they're not like super, super stretchy, but there's a good amount of stretch. Um, there is, I think, like 30% cotton, so they may uh, shrink a little bit, but overall, they look pretty good. I like them. Um, the length, these are mediums. I'm 6'2", but they'll probably ride up, and anything for my Instagram pictures, I'll probably be pulling them up a little bit, because that's how we roll. So. Should probably have more of a neutral color for the rest of these try-ons, but um, I'm just gonna keep on the red ones. But um, I guess the main things to say, also there's a little bit of branding on the left thigh. I think that the word is embroidered. That's like just sewn on there, 3D. Um, so they're pretty nice, uh, not too much like big branding. The other ones that I like, the bold ones, there is a lot of branding there, but um, the stretch on those are, is just unbeatable. But for $25, these are close to uh, that kind of quality. Um, but more, more I guess, cottony and like soft. These ones I think are even better for like lounging. So next up we're gonna go with, we'll do the long sleeves next. Um, so another product that I really like from Gymshark, I think they did a good job. I think actually, the majority of this um, haul I think is the Critical line. So what I have next is the Critical long sleeve shirt. Slate gray, I got the red, so I got the red on red. We got black, red and gray. I'm just gonna try on the gray, but I think they did a good job with this because um, it is pretty stretchy fabric, relatively stretchy. I like to wear these when I go into like warm up in the gym. So before I get my actual like training started, I like to just throw these on. I'm gonna be keeping the tag on for now. Um, Gymshark does a good job with their um, refunds and if you have to like change sizes, they're um, pretty accommodating with that because I've had to do that in the past. Um, so yeah, this one, pretty simple. It is, that's just like kind of printed on there, so it's not really embroidered, just like they printed some ink on there. But um, yeah, stretch, good stretch on this. Um, so let me put that on. Let 
back. So this is the silver. This is the slate gray. So pretty snug on the arms, but not like, actually yeah, this one's pretty damn snug. Um, again, there's a stretch to it, so it'll be a little tight, but you can definitely move and this one as well. It's a good length to it. This is a large, yeah, the length here I like, although I do run into a problem. I'll talk to you guys about that in a sec, but here's the side, the back, and that side. But with these, one of some of the problems that I do run into, again, I like going to the gym wearing this, my first couple sets, and then of course show a little bit more skin later in when I'm warmed up and have kind of a pump, then I'll show my arms off. Um, but I like going in with these, of course, get my body temperature up, because I find that works, especially um, to have a better workout. But the issue with these I sometimes run into is it's not like super, super long, like it's a good length. Um, stops right about, yeah, right mid pocket. For me, uh, let me squat into position. But the issue is sometimes I'll wear like a, um, I'll show you the next shirt, but sometimes it pops out from underneath. So sometimes if you have a longer shirt under this, it's gonna pop out, but you're gonna have that issue no matter what, unless you get like an oversized long sleeve, which probably isn't a bad idea, but then you may not get the snugness on the arm, so it's really up to you. Um, I tried today, I just tucked in the undershirt, and then I had this, one of these kinds of shirts on over. That's something you can do to uh, not look really weird, because Nicole makes fun of me. Um, but on to the next uh, set of clothes. So we have the next set of clothes. So we have red and black as well. Um, the red, it's kind of like this red too. It's a, I like it, it's like a, what, a blood red or something? I don't know. It's a cool looking red. But next, one of my favorite products, probably my favorite, it's up there. It's like, actually it's probably my number one product from Gymshark. This would be the, oh no, I hear the dogs. Nope, nope, don't do it. There's silica gel and there's bunch of stuff all over the floor. Sorry about that. I don't want the dogs eating those little gel packets that come with it. If you have dogs, watch out for that. Um, not a good idea. Not a good meal for the dogs. Um, Legacy Drop Arm Sleeveless T-shirts. So these are money. And I get questions all the time about how I cut my shirts. Usually, I think we got lucky on one and it came out good and we just used it as like a template, cut around it. These, is, this is probably one of the best ideas to do. Just get you one of these, I think they're like 20, $25. And then you just cut around the edges on your regular shirt. Um, and then you'll have a really good cut. Um, I'm gonna try on all these colors and I'll show you how they look. So we have the gravel blue and large. That really matches my socks pretty well. But um, yeah, good thing about these shirts, really, really, really stretchy, which is really good. Um, side view, no nip slip action. It's actually like kind of right there, but it will roll in a little bit. Um, we'll talk about that in a bit. And then here is the cut on the back. That was the back cut. So the, I think this is a great shirt. Um, also, as you kind of have it over time, it may roll in a little bit so it gets a little closer to the nips, but I haven't really had too many issues in terms of the nip slips with these. Sometimes with my like the ones that I cut on my own, sometimes that happens. Also, this goes down pretty low, but like not to where, um, not to where it's like too, too weird. I don't, yeah, I think that these were like very well done, um, but with them, uh, if I do like work out and then I'm like walking around, especially if I have a backpack. If I have a backpack or my messenger bag on, it usually pulls one side and my nip is like hanging out a little bit. So you gotta watch out with that. But of course, um, any kind of shirt where it's like really cut in that way, you're gonna have to watch out for that. So we also have like an army green, which I thought was a, a pretty cool looking one. It's the hunter green. I'll just try it on real quick. So here's that hunter green with the black logo. I think that looks really good. And of course, darker colors are slimming. So, I mean, if you want your arms to really pop, get like a black or a dark color. And of course your arms are gonna like visually stick out more and your bottom, I mean, your, your torso is gonna look more slimmed down. But let me show you this next one. Probably my favorite color. Um, and I usually don't like this color. It's yellow. I usually, I don't think I have a single yellow shirt um, in my closet at all anymore, but this one I think is a, a really nice yellow, 
it's August. It's like the third week of August, but it's still kind of summer, so it's summery. Um, I like this one. The look of it, probably I was most excited for of the new ones that I have. Um, and Nicole always tells me, especially with these drop holes, um, she really likes the color selection that Gymshark has with these colors specifically. The blue, I have a, a green one that she really likes. Um, and I guess it's pastel or I don't know what I would say this style of color is, but they do a good job apparently according to Nicole. Um, and then so here's the yellow. And I think this one looks pretty good. It's really bright, especially in my office where the lights coming at us. Um, so those are the drop holes, and I said we're going to progressively get to more skimpy clothing. We got a stringer. And stringers, I don't really wear often at all. I think I have I've got like two more. I do them for special occasions when I was at uh, occasions. When I was at Alkali Gym, I got a stringer there, and uh, that was cool. And also, when I was at um, Attila's Gym in New Jersey, I picked up a stringer there. So sometimes if I'm doing a bro job, uh, like some bro work, um, I'll throw on a stringer, um, get some curls in, and of course support the gyms that I'm visiting because um, also I feel that's polite to help their business. Um, this one, Critical Stringer Black, so again another Critical Line uh, product, it has the stretch in it which is pretty sweet. Um, so we're going to see how this fits, stringers it really depends, this is a large too, so I'm trying out, see if it's true to size, we'll see how this looks, there's a nip slip. So not too bad. All right, that's pretty close. That's kind of close. That's kind of real close. Do I just have wide nips? But yeah, so this is what that's looking like. I like how it's so stretchy. I think that this could we could run into some danger. With my areolas, but overall pretty cool. I'll just pull it on the back. Um, we'll see from the side. There's the side look. The back. The back. Um, and then of course this side. So, you can also give one of these. That would be a good thumbnail. Mon's, Mon's editing this, so he's probably, let me see if we can get a good thumbnail here. Yeah, thumbnail, I think. But, yeah, so this is a stringer, not a bad fit. I do think that this could be a little bit dangerous, probably depending on your body type. For me right now, it's kind of close. I mean, we're right here, so we got like, what is that? We got about an inch from like the center, so I don't know, it depends on your, I don't know, we don't have to get too, too deep into that, but the next clothing um, that I did get also on this, uh, I forgot to mention, there is the printed um, Gymshark logo. Um, that is printed, so like ink, not, I think the other word is embroidered. Yeah, yeah dude, good idea. Do you, uh, don't know the difference, but do a, a try on haul. <laughs> but um, so the next one is the, I think it's pronounced Jacquard. So Ultra Jacquard Pullover. I have this in black and honestly, probably it's one of my favorite warmups. Um, I wear that to warm up, it's a little bit thicker, it's, it's really stretchy, I have the black one, because the white one was sold out, but they did restock it. I think it's still restocked if you guys are watching this video, depending how long it takes us to get this one out. Um, but yeah, this thing is just, it's beautiful. Um, it's got a good stretch, great warm up. Um, just don't get tomato sauce on it. So we got it looking like that, so we have the zipper is like a bold, like contrasting, like Gymshark, the black. Um, the zipper is black, so it's like a cool contrast. And throughout, it's kind of like, it's like Arctic camo almost. It's got like, it's just like different, I don't know. Like you can say like there's gray, like lines and dots, and there's like more density, less density. So it's a really cool color um, to it. So I think they did a really good job on this. Um, I'm gonna try it on for you guys. All right. So, we got, it's like a hoodie, a pullover. Um, this one's a little tight, man, I'm just a little sweaty. But yeah, so a good snug fit on the arms. So we'll give you the 360. So here's it at the front. The length, it's about there. So we got front, we got side, got the back, got the side. So good fit on the arms for me. Um, and then, of course, you can zip it up. Ooh, when you zip it up, it gets real tight. So I have the other one. I pretty much never have it zipped up. Um, I always just have it open. I think that looks really good too because the contrast and design. Because you have like the a lot of black here, and then it's a lot of like white 
and then lighter colors. But yeah, I really like this thing. Again, it's pretty, pretty stretchy. I mean, it's not redonkulously stretchy, but there's a good, there's some stretch to it. Um, this is one of my favorite products from them and I'm already feeling really warm. So this is another good thing to wear going into the gym, get your training done, and then you can, uh, well actually no, get your warm ups done and then go into a stringer or I probably prefer the, uh, the drop holes just because I think they're really well cut and also the stretch of fabric feels really nice. Um, but yeah, that is the haul that I, that I got. <laughs> um, I hope you guys saw some val got some value from this video. You're just seeing how things fit, seeing the differences between the products. Um, and I just wanted to talk about like what my favorite ones are. If you can get those bold shorts, super stretchy, great for performance, I feel. Um, these critical ones, they feel really comfy. There's stretch, I don't think it's as stretchy as the bold, but there's still a good amount of stretch with that 5% spandex, so I'll probably still be using them for leg days. Check my Instagram um, and we'll see like how those look um, and go with like use. Um, and then after that, this thing I think is awesome. If you can score yourself like the white one, I think it's one of the nicest looking products that Gymshark's ever came out with. So Nicole got me a, the black one because this one was sold out when it came came back. She was like, you better order that right now before it sells out again. So got it, even though it's August. But, and then also the drop holes. Um, I would say get yourself a couple colors of that. If you want like good cutoffs, snag one and then just use it to cut your shirts and you can have like a really good template. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it flexible, I'm out.